Hello, welcome back to Island Gear Review. My name is Sal. Today's video is going to cover trekking poles and ice axes. It's been a while since my last video. I appreciate your patience. Uh, if you like this video, please like to subscribe. So when it comes to um, trekking poles or ice axes, there are definitely two different types of material. You have aluminum, it's heavier, durable, carbon fiber, very lightweight. It will break if there's a lot of force to it. It won't bend, it will break. So, <clears throat> and to start off, I got the black uh, diamond distance carbon SLZ poles here. These are the first ones I bought. I was going on a mountain goat hunt and I wanted something lightweight and packable that we can use on a tarp. So, this was a very good option. It's 120 to 140 length. What I really like about this is you can separate them. Very compact. Shove that in your backpack, pull it out when you need it. Super lightweight, it's 0.85 of a pound, so it's the lightest option I have by a few ounces. Um, when you extend it, pull it out until this clicks, that means it's locked, it's not going to come apart on you. Very comfortable handle, lightweight, easy to adjust your height. So if the shortest set in on 510, 30 inch inseam, and my arm is basically at a 90 on flat level ground where you kind of want it to be. So works perfect for me. Uh, super lightweight. Uh, my first guy, I didn't realize I had to lock this, so it was coming apart on me. I thought it was, you, clearly it's user error, so make sure that's locked out. Um, carbon fiber, super lightweight, as you know. So if you're looking to count your ounces, I would go with a collapsible, different, there's different brands out there. This is Black Diamond. Very good option. I like it. If you're using like a stone glacier tent or a uh, Kefire sheep tarp, track and pole is the way to go. So a dual purpose and uh, moving over to the stew by ice axe. So this then, it's hard to find in Canada. I had to order it from the US and this is the first one I bought. It's very good, it's an aluminum shaft, very easy. So again, it goes just above my knee, fully extended. Make sure I'll pull it all the way this time. It goes to just below my hip. So just so you know, none of these ice axes are climbing axes, they're not technical axes, they're trekking pole axes or trekking axes. So you don't buy one of these to go ice climbing and you'll probably kill yourself. Buy the proper uh, ice axe for that. This is just for hiking and no technical climbing. Make that clear. So I use this on a hunt. I um, dug out my um, bed in where I'm setting my tent. Everything I set my tent up was on a slant. So I dug it out as good as I can. Uh, very good to hook yourself, pull up. You're climbing. I have this metal point here actually stabbed through my Yukon Gator a few times. It's super sharp. Uh, I really like this crossing creeks and stuff. Put that in front of you and downstream and then it works excellent just to help you get across. Uh, they do have, this is supposedly for snow. Um, so I really like this. It's a very good option. Uh, only thing I don't like about it is the plastic bushings they have. So I first bought this, <clears throat> I actually took it out, I was all excited, and it busts the plastic bushings. And then the little pieces, I put it back together and shove it back in very carefully. I contacted Stu Buy in Europe, told them about the issue. They forwarded me off to a U.S. distributor who sent a bag full of extra spares. That took about three weeks to get to me. After that, I was laughing. It's all good, but um, just so you know, these are kind of hard to find in Canada. They may be easier now, but when I bought them, I got through the U.S. and took a couple weeks. Um, so pros to this is it's one-handed use. You can dig seeps. You can whack bushes down. You can climb yourself up. Um, super awesome. Keeps one hand free. I try to keep it in my left hand while I'm climbing. Have my right hand free. And 
access to my rifle and a gun bearer if needed. So two tracker poles, then your both hands are busy and it just gives gives you options, right? So supply, very nice. Moving on to the mountain stick. This is from New Zealand. This is going to probably replace my Stubai. Stubai would be a backup. Uh, this thing is 100% carbon fiber and a stainless steel head. Um, to be honest, when I ordered this, it got lost in the mail and got sent back. And it took over close to about three months to get. So I'm not blaming the company. The actual Mike was easy to get contact and he did every other thing he can to send make it right. Um, I, he, off, he offered a free leash from New Zealand. I really appreciate that. That came in pretty quick. Um, so you can see the diameter of the shaft is bigger than this. It's, super, it's on a one ounce lighter, 100% carbon. Um, very good, sturdy. Uh, so all the way down, it is just above my knee and fully extended. Go away. It's about up to my weight, belly button. So um, there's not many reviews on this. Uh, your paint, this is pricey, but you're paying for the material. So 100% carbon and stainless steel to manufacture this. I would say about 85% of your money is just going for the material. So you're actually getting a very good deal. Um, this point here digs into the grass very easily. I find it very secure. It feels awesome in the hand. It's super nice. I like the leash. Nice long leash so you can look around your hand. If you drop it, it's not gonna, you're not gonna lose it. Um, what I really like is the, the bushings on here, I'll show you. Very good um, threads on this connection. Come pre lubed, very nice, very well machined. So, it's quite a bit of bear with me here. Uh, so, the bushings here compared to the Stubai, Stubai is plastic, this is actually um, carbon fiber. They have a little indents there, and there's a hole in the shaft here. They line up, keep it simple. Boom, you got that in there. Push that in. Make sure you don't cross thread this. And when it comes to cleaning it, you're, this is going to get dirty if you dig a lot because this is open on the top. So just keep that in mind, just keep it clean. This is sturdy. I will highly suggest getting this. If you're going to buy one, I'd go with the mountain stick. This two is pretty sweet. Um, I don't like the plastic bushings, it's, they break very easily. This one, I may lose it, but it's not going to really break on me. It just feels good. Like when you find something that's very well made, you can tell by feeling it. One con to this, and this is being honest here, um, actually I got some splinters coming out. And I have a carbon fiber sliver right now. I'm just going to clear that up with some sandpaper or something. Other than that, this is very handy. I'm going to definitely use this as my primary uh, trekking axe. Um, shout out to Mike. Thank you very much for uh, being able to answer my questions and concerns. Appreciate the leash you sent for New Zealand. And uh, this is, I highly recommend this. It's a very high grade product. Um, you can tell the difference from this and that. This is very well designed and awesome. It is expensive, that's the con side of this, but 85% of your money is going to material and then manufacturing. And they're not, I don't see them making a, quite a bit of above that. So you're, it's a very good company. Um, moving over, if you're not willing, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, save your money for optics or boots or packs or whatever. I would suggest going with plain old fashioned aluminum. So this thing probably cost 20 bucks. I actually got it for free. I had it from work safe, um, ordered that from someone we have at work. Um, 
So this is super, it's heavier, you can feel it. Definitely heavier than everything on the table here. But this thing will probably take abuse. It will bend before it breaks. And it'll let you know when it's about to. So these will definitely, they won't bend, right? They're gonna probably break before they bend. So good option if you don't care about the weight, saving your money for other more important pieces of gear. Aluminum is awesome. Get them at Walmart, Costco, wherever. Definitely find these very cheaply. Or if you're just going on day hunts, I wouldn't be spending money on some of this other stuff. So excellent option. So we got aluminum, 100% carbon fiber. This is what you get when you want to uh, count your ounces, save your money, or count your ounces, save weight, spend your money. Don't care, don't want to spend money, you get extra weight. So very good, uh, simple way to describe it. Uh, pros to this, very awesome, well-made, high-grade pro uh, materials, ingredients on this product right here. Super awesome, will last a long time. This one, um, super good, super nice in the hand. The only con that I have against it is the plastic bushings. Um, that's about it. Everything else is awesome, just as good as the mountain stuff. Um, Tracking poles, um, very compact, very lightweight. That's a pro. This is awesome. This feels super lightweight. Like if you, and uh, the con of this is, I don't know, like uh, you could break them, but you could break anything. So there's no real con of this. If you're using shelters, tarps, I'd rather take trekking poles than a fucking ice axe because you only can do one side. For two trekking poles, you can set up a shoe tarp and put it in your uh, still place your tent for extra support, stuff like that. You definitely go with that. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please give me a shout. Let me know which ones you guys use or prefer. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. We work on more videos. I can do one on boots. And I recently got a another one on the shelter coming up. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a good night.